Greetings, Paul Freeman here from Aporto Bags. We are at a family member's property to feed the cats, let the dog out, feed the two chickens and the turkey, and just basically check on property while they're working today. And when I get back, I'm going to make a small, short video, not small, short video, on how I clean the inside of bags that the small compartments that are so tiny you can't get your fingers in. That's coming up. Cleaning the outside of a bag is easy with just using packing tape. I take regular packing tape and pull off six or seven inches and attach it to itself. It's a quick and easy way to remove loose threads, lint from the outside of any bag. But the challenge was what about inside compartments? I'm not going to be able to get that tape in there. So what if I have a loose thread or something inside that I have to remove? Inside compartments like this. Or even inside our tablet bag. Inside compartments on the outside or inside compartments. How am I going to remove loose thread, lint fuzz, etc.? I came up with this great technique. It's really quick to put together. I just have a piece of quarter inch by quarter inch hardwood and I've tapered the end so it's narrower on the end. And then I take a piece of packing tape, wrap it around, attach it to itself, and then to keep the tape from sliding back and forth, I secure it in place with a plain piece of tape like this. So now if I want to clean the inside or pick up a loose thread or something that's inside, I just go in and push down and pull it out and it's done it's clean here are some alternatives to this quarter inch by quarter inch piece of hardwood you could find some dowel stock probably at a place like home depot this is eighth and eighth inch but i would suggest you get a quarter inch piece and then just sand the end another alternative would be a pencil but just make sure that if you stick this in your bag that your tape is Covering the lead, you don't want to get lead on the inside of your bag. Another alternative is a recycled toothbrush. This one has a tapered end on it. And last, a common screwdriver. This one already has a taper on it. Now back to what I use. This is a cutoff. If you know of a woodworker in your area, they are going to have cutoffs for making things. And if you were to ask them, they would give you a cut off like this of a piece of hardwood. That's what I use. Hope this helps.